Hey there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and in this video I want to show you one of the wobble boards from HockeyShot.com. Now, HockeyShot has gone and picked up a whole line of balance training products, and to be perfectly honest with you, I really like them. I'm a huge believer in balance. Um, obviously, it plays a huge role in skating ability, athleticism, and uh, there are some components to it that actually help you avoid injury as well. So, um, this is the 20-inch wobble board. And um, it adjusts to, it's, this is actually a pretty, a pretty cool one because this little, this little uh, middle piece on the back adjusts. So you can spin it and then adjust it to um, make it easier or harder. So there's different adjustments. I don't know, I'll see if I can get a close up on this. There's different notches that you can stick this in. So right now it's in the easiest. And this would be the medium and this would be the hardest. So the higher up this ball is, or this uh, half circle I guess you could call it, the harder it's going to be to balance. So right now I've got it on the easiest setting just to kind of demo this. Um, but this adjusts to 10, 12, and 15 degrees. So this is the 20 inch wobble board that we've got here. And uh, there's a whole, a whole line of different things. So go there, check it out yourself, pick the one that makes the most sense for you. But uh, what I want to show you on this one, we'll actually cut and uh, so I can show you what it actually looks like in action. But there are a number of different exercises you can do. Some of them are kind of, you know, stretch style exercises. Some of them are balance and control. And you can actually even do some, uh, some power exercises with it as well. So I'm going to show you that right now. We'll go ahead and uh, cut to that. Okay, so like I said, there's a number of different exercises you can do with this, uh, with this wobble board. So what we're going to do to start with is uh, we'll get both feet on. Okay, so you want to get a nice stable, uh, stable set, especially if you're, if you're using this as a hockey player, you want to get close to what a hockey stance would be. Um, obviously, we're not moving, we're not skating, but generally speaking, we want to you know, have knees bent, about shoulder width apart. That's what we're looking for on this. First exercise, we're going to work on going front to back. This is actually a little bit tough. Front to back without letting the sides touch. And you got to get to the point where you can do this under control. I'm still a bit of a novice on this, to tell you the truth. Okay. So front to back without letting the sides touch. Then we're going to do the same thing, go side to side without letting the front or back touch. So that wasn't a good one. There we go. Okay, you got to get to the point where you've got this under control. The idea is to go slowly, control it. So as you can see, I mean it's the learning curve is not too steep, but there are adjustments you can make. So, um, you know, this is these balance products. Um, these are types of things you can do just, you know, if you're watching TV or, um, you know, anything else, just messing around. They're a lot of fun to just jump on and you, know, you can do it while you're doing other things. So there's that. Um, anything that you can do with two feet, you can do with one foot as well. Actually, let me show you this. Then there's the, the circular. So these are ones that are a little bit almost more of a stretch than an exercise. But if you're anything like me, I get, during the season, I get tight ankles and tight calves. And this is a really nice stretch. It's like an active stretch almost. Okay? Uh, and then, again, like I said, anything you can do with two feet, give it a go with one foot. I don't know how well I'll be able to demonstrate this, but we'll see if we can, uh, see if we can make it happen. Okay? So this is, yeah, this is much more difficult. So front to back without letting the sides touch. Okay, now let's see if we can go side to side. So I can do this without rolling my ankle here. Okay, it's a lot more difficult side to side, one foot. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, not only can you do that, but you can do push-ups as well. Push-ups on a wobble board, great exercise. So grab the side of the board, get down. Let's see if I'll go, I'll go side angle for you. Okay, and same idea. You want to try to do it without letting the sides touch. Okay, so you're nice and deep. Okay, pretty straightforward there. And then, last but not least, you've got your most obvious application for hockey players, and that is uh, standing on the wobble board while stick handling. So uh, I'll show you what that might look like. I've got my Swedish wooden ball here. And as you can see, it has a whole new level of coordination involved. You can get creative with this, probably more creative than I'm capable of demonstrating at this point. 
but uh, you know, think about controlling it out to the sides while maintaining your bounce. Maybe pop it around, catch it on the other side. Lots of stuff you can do with this. Pull it out to this side. Anyways, like I said, you know, be creative and uh, use this use this regularly and you'll get, uh, you'll get pretty good at it. That's the idea though. So, like I said, tons of different stuff you can do with this. It's a great product. One of the many products that Hockey Shot's now carrying that develop balance and coordination. And, um, you know, really useful, I think, for hockey applications. So that's your 20 inch wobble board. Um, again, that was on the easiest setting. So as you get better at it, you can make it more and more difficult and uh, just get creative. You can pick these up at HockeyShot.com and make sure you check out the link in the description to pick up your coupon code and save some money off your order.